Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. The last few YouTube postings have all been about segmentation and today continues on this theme and today we are looking at colour segmentation. We'll be using the Gonzalez Wounds and Hilton function colour seg. So just to reiterate it's not my function. We also be looking at Malambois and Euclidean distance. For those of you that are not familiar with these terms I suggest you look up this web link here. I'm sure there are other ones just as good out there. Lines 10, 11 and 12 are fairly obvious by now so we're just going to execute the program. Uh, so here we are, I didn't hit uh, the first time. So we want to pick out all the reds. So just looking at this red in the bus, a red in the bus here, red in the traffic lights, this lady's in red. There's a little bit of red in that traffic light. This chap wear is wearing a red t-shirt. There's kind of a ready orange in the back of the buses and there's a very dark red here. So we're going just going to use this lady here. So we're just going to go out to the command prompt and carry on. So I don't know how this looks to those of you on YouTube at the moment, the resolution might be great. But around where the mouse is here, I've just segmented out the red area. So how did I do that? I have to go back to here. I read in the image, line 16, I used the ROI poly, that's the region of interest polygonal, polygonal command to se select that area. Uh, and that will give me a logical mask is either 0 or 1. So 0 would be outside and 1 will be inside the selected area. I then identified the red component, the green component and the blue component. So I multiplied the mask, 640 by 963, by A colon colon 1. So all the rows, all the columns in the red plane, 1 is the red. Uh, the green, all the rows, all the columns, 2 in the green plane. And then in blue, all the rows, all the columns, comma 3 in the blue plane. Line 21, don't know if it's executed. Oh, it has executed. So I have, I've concatenated the three, uh, the red, the green, the blue, into uh, three planes. And the MATLAB command for concatenate is cat. Okay. And line 22, I've shown the concatenated image. I'm just going to go to the command prompt here. F10 continues. So M is the size of the image of the reconstructed N, 963, and K is 3 for the number of planes. What's happening on line I? I'm reshaping it. So I've 640 by 963 by 3, so I've reshaped it. And if I just do a who's here. So 640 by 963 will give me 616320 and by 3 the first column is the red, the second column is the green and the third column is the blue. Uh, carry on here, F10. So I've just, sorry for skipping, so I've just done line 25 and line 26. So I find the mask code, the index, the IDX, the index has found all the the color pixels, in other words, the non-zero. So find finds the non-zero values in the mask. And then I've created that in the index on line 26. So there we go. I've got the variance and the covariance matrix. There's the covariance, covariance matrix of I. And there is M. So that's the mean. So the variance of the red is 57, the variance of the green is 7, and the variance of the blue is 7.02. The average of the reds is 70, the average of the greens is 17, and the average of the blues is 11. Okay, carry on. Uh, have I skipped a line? Oh yeah, D, line 28, the diagonal of, so I just do D there. So I've just got the diagonal of the variance covariance as to 57, 7, and 7. There we are again. And line 29 is going to get this, the SD the square root of them. So I just execute that. So SD is 7, 2, and 2. So we have to get the variance covariance matrix to get the... Uh, 
while both of them to work but especially the um, uh, Malambo. So we're just about to execute the uh, MATLAB function color seg or the Gonzales ones and it's function color seg. So we're doing Euclidean. So here we go. And there is the Euclidean. So just to get the original image up. There's the original. And there's the Euclidean at 10. So it's not too bad. Just have to get this right a little bit. We've, there's the lady there. Uh, we've missed that little bit of green light. That little sprig there is the front of the bus. And that little blob there is the side of the bus. And just nudge that in a little bit. And that little dot there is um, either that one or that one. I'm not too sure which. Okay, we're probably not picking up uh, this red because it's too bright. It's a very bright red, so I, I suspect there's a bit of green and a bit of blue in it as well. F10 again. So there's the Euclidean at 15. Um, I'm not going to comment too much. We're beginning to pick up more reds because the threshold value is increased. We're about to do 25. There's the Euclidean 25, so that's grand. Uh, there's 50, and as you can imagine, as the threshold increases, we're picking up more and more alleged reds, but it's just way over segmented. Uh, and there is 75 about to pop up, and that's just ridiculous. Now, the Malambois. There's the Malambar 10. Threshold to 10. Not that different now to the uh, Euclidean at 10. Uh, 15 about to arrive. And that 15 now, I know I have the Euclidean 15 cancelled, but yeah, it is a better re representation of than the Euclidean at 15. So I just carry on here. Uh, there's the 25 just to about to appear. And as you see, like the other one, as the threshold starts to go up, you start to pick up more and more like reds, but also starts to be over segmented. Uh, there's 50. Not as over segmented as the Euclidean 50, and then and there is just well ridiculous. That's the only way to describe it. So that's kind of it. Uh, I just leave this up for a, a few seconds because some of you may need the commands. But again, this is not my work. Most of this came from Gonzalez Woods and Edens, just to be clear about that. I've put, I've heavily commented it there uh, about Malambois and Euclidean. You can pause the video and look at it and read it to you as long as you want. And then just down here, I just leave that up for a second or two so you can see that. Now you can see with the uh, colors egg, I just picked some values. I suppose you could do some sort of loop uh, with you if you wanted to do it a bit better. But just to p I just use some script commands there, and just going slowly on again. Some more comments about Malambois, and I just leave that up there about the uh, Malambois functions. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for listening.